Victor Stebbett had nothing to say to the families of the victims as he was led away from court today after admitting to killing Jacob Erteljack and Mara Casal outside their home last May. Those murders part of a days-long crime spree that shook multiple communities in Westmoreland County before Stebbin was taken into custody along State Route 30 in North Huntingdon Township. Many of Erteljack's family members spoke in court before Stebbin's sentence was handed down, including his father, who talked with us after. We knew Jake. He didn't know Jake. He was a jealous man. He's an evil man. He's a man filled with hatred. As part of Stebbin's guilty plea, he'll spend life in prison without parole. In exchange, the district attorney's office agreed to no longer seek the death penalty. Justice has been served. Uh, this is just another little turning point in the journey that we have ahead of us. Robert Erteljack says Jake and Mara love to travel and ride motorcycles together. Jake worked for Duquesne Light, and he says he was always there to lend a helping hand. And while his loss can't be replaced, he's hopeful this will give both families a chance to move forward. We have a lot of support, and, and it's greatly appreciated. Uh, this is... This is a journey, and it's a sad one, but uh, in honor of Jake, we will live and do the best we can. And now the family tells us there are plans for a memorial ride for Jake and Mara. That is scheduled for later this month. We've posted more information on that on our website.